That can't be right. Fear it is. What's up, everybody? This is time for Bubba's Daily Update, and we're coming to you from the floor of the Chicago Mercury Exchange today, the CME, and of course, what's going on in the markets? Yeah, a lot of a lot of fear, a lot of stuff happening, but in the meantime, the markets aren't doing much of anything. They've been on both sides of Unchanged today, looking like they're going to go much higher than they fell, looked like they were going to go much lower, and then they rallied, and at the end of the day, if this is the best they can do after the last couple of days, it looks like, indeed, the markets are looking to be sold off here. When you look at the overall picture, and of course, the that can't be right reference to the trading places, and of course, Mortimer and, 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 and Randolph Duke talking about the orange juice crop, well, how can the bonds be going up? If interest rates are gonna rise, why are the bonds going straight up? And of course, that is one of the issues, and I think that's why we find a nice opportunity or a selling opportunity in the bond market, because at the end of the day, what you really have going on here is more of a fear trade. You've now seen what's happened to oil. As oil it continued to be under that fear trade on a daily basis, we now see oil getting pounded and back down towards the 56 handle versus up towards 60. Gold has now come to a key spot, and I'm wondering if I'm wrong here. You know, I thought that the bear market was over in gold, and this is on a weekly basis, but 1265 becomes the key level that it must hold coming into the end of the week. And that, that would be de determined more on Friday from the, a closing basis, but we're at that 1265 level, which is very, very precarious, and it really depends. If we break that 1265 and continue through and close there, then it looks like gold may be going down. At the end of the day, we've got uh, uh, cattle off again, which makes sense, but of course, feeders were weaker than fats, which we firmly expected. Now what we're looking for in the feeder market is for the market to see if they're gonna hold in these levels, right, and then look for a spot to buy. We're no longer sellers here. We're now looking for opportunities to buy, but we gotta make sure that the selling is done here. Hogs continue to be a great sale anytime they rally. And of course, the grain markets were under some pretty good pressure after being higher overnight. And then coming into the day, they got hammered pretty good. Again, we're still a buyer of corn and wheat. Soybeans are very tenuous. Looks like they're headed back to that 985 level. But the big picture is simple. You've got the jobs number on Friday. You've got a couple other things happening. And we want to see how these markets are going to react. So far, the overall reaction is the dip buyers have not been quite as strong as they've been in the past. So we'll see if that changes. And of course, that could change at any moment. So there's no reason to get too aggressive here. Seasonality tells us that we should be a little bit more patient. I want to remind you, too, to check out highschoolinvesting.com and check out our site. We want to continue to help educate high school stu students. We've got 300 high schools right now, which I finance myself. And of course, if you go to patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading, you can go ahead and, and help us out if you'd like to. And of course, those who do get a webinar and a, an autographed copy of my book and the other side of the coin, make sure you listen to the Bubba Show every day at two to three Eastern time at libertytalk.fm. This has been Bubba's Daily Update. Thanks so much. We'll see you back here tomorrow, same time. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.